This Ridley-O brought to you by... And I warn you, England. They need your help running their booths and protests in New Hampshire. Click the link in the video description and visit their Facebook page to find out more. And I warn you, England. Last week, Senators threatened to put a hold on the nomination of John Brennan to be CIA director over his refusal to answer questions about the use of drones to kill Americans on U.S. soil. That the president's nominee to head the agency that has used drones to kill perhaps thousands overseas could not deny their possible use at home should be shocking. How did we get to this point? The Obama administration has rapidly expanded the use of drones overseas as they appear a way to expand U.S. military action without the political risk of American boots on the ground. In fact, they are one of the main reasons a recent Gallup survey of Pakistan, where most U.S. drone strikes take place, found that 92% disapprove of U.S. leadership. This is the lowest approval rate Pakistan citizens have ever given to the United States. And it is directly related to U.S. drone strikes. The risk of blowback increases all the time. However, the false propaganda about the success of our drone program overseas leads officials to believe that drones should also be used over U.S. soil as well. In attempt to ease criticism of the use of drones against Americans, some in Congress propose more oversight as if that should make us feel any better. In last week's hearings, CIA nominee Brennan suggested that he was open to a congressional proposal to set up a secret court to oversee the president's program to kill Americans by drone. Should we cheer that a court selected by government officials will meet in secret to oversee the president's secret decisions like killing Americans without charge or trial? Has the Constitution been so eroded that we accept such a horrific and terrifying prospect? While touting the success of its overseas drone programs, the U.S. administration refuses to even admit publicly that the CIA has an overseas drone program. In response to a recent ACLU Freedom of Information request regarding the existence of the CIA's drone program, the Department of Justice responded, quote, the very fact of the existence or non-existence of such documents is itself classified. How's that for government transparency? Recently, Federal Aviation Administration official Jim Williams stated that no armed drones would be presently he permitted in U.S. airspace. But what good are the promises of government officials when the Constitution, especially the Fourth Amendment, has been gutted? More than 1,400 applications to use drones in U.S. airspace have been approved, including for police, universities, and at least seven federal agencies. Do we want to live in a society where the government is constantly watching us from above? The Reds were constantly at work reinforcing the wall, but still people fled to the West. These Germans and Soviets could only dream of such technology in the days of their dictatorships. We might ask ourselves how long before extraordinary circumstances will lead to a decision to arm those drones over U.S. territory. The U.S. government justified its attack on Saddam Hussein in Iraq and against Gaddafi in Libya and elsewhere with claims that these despots were killing their own citizens without trial or due process. Is it true that extrajudicial killings is the opposite of justice in a free society? As Judge Andrew Napolitano wrote last week about the president's assassination programs, quote, when the president kills without due process, he disobeys the laws he has sworn to uphold no matter who agrees with him. When we talk about killing as if it were golf, we debase ourselves, and when the government kills and we put our heads in the sand, woe to us when there is no place to hide, close quote. And I warn you, England, they need your help running their booths and protests in New Hampshire. Click the link in the video description and visit their Facebook page to find out more. And I warn you, England.